of Christmas and today I want to talk to you guys about trusts. If your client is selling a property and they have the property in the name of a trust, if you, um, the best thing to do is go ahead and get a copy of that trust or have them send a copy of the trust. Sometimes they have to physically drop it off because the binders are this big and they're not really sure which document they, that we'll need. We are happy to review those before you take the listing just to make sure that you're dealing with the right person and they do in fact have the power to sell. Trusts have to say what powers the trustees have. Sometimes there's language in them regarding primary residences and put some restrictions upon transferring those. So it is really important that you have an attorney to um, get their eyes on that and make sure that your client does in fact have the power to sell and you're dealing with the right person and you have all documentation needing if it's a successor trustee, that kind of thing. Also, if your client is trying to purchase a property in the name of their trust, that is fine as long as the lender is okay with it. Some lenders do not want to have the property titled in the name of the trust and with a mortgage in the trust's name, even if the person is going to sign a personal guarantee. Other lenders are okay with it. So it really just depends on who you're working with and what type of a loan it is. If they, are, um, if they can't buy it in the name of the trust, there is a possibility that they could transfer it into the trust after closing, and they really do need to see, speak with an attorney about that to make sure that they won't, um, there won't be any repercussions. But anyway, so if you guys are gonna be working with a trust, we are happy to look over those documents and make sure that you have the right person signing and um, it's all gonna be smooth sailing. All right, we'll see you tomorrow on day 11.